So yeah, I guess the, uh, the you know, one of the things that people always want to know is how do I how do I predict success? How do I generate success? How do I sort of create something, particularly in the social media space, that's going to go viral that millions of people are going to see? Uh, and you know, when we when we ask that question, it's very tempting to uh, you know to look back through history and to look at the things that have been successful in the past. And I think that uh, you know what we're finding in our research is that surprisingly, that's not a very informative way to go about. Uh, about understanding success. And the problem is that uh, you know, for every sort of uh, you know, you know, YouTube video that gets millions of downloads, or every every tweet on Twitter that that gets you know retweeted you know tens of thousands of times, uh, there are literally millions of other uh, items, videos, tweets, etc., that you, you don't see, that you don't hear about, that go nowhere. Um, and so, because we only look at the, this sort of tiny, tiny fraction of successful things. Our tendency is to try to infer, you know, the attributes of success by looking at the attributes of the successful things, and this seems very intuitive, very common sense. But unfortunately, it doesn't really work. And the reason is that if you look at all the unsuccessful things, it turns out that many of them have exactly the same attributes. And so, whatever it is that you're trying to uh, predict, uh, or whatever it is that you're using to try to predict success, it turns out not to be very informative. Uh, and the only way that you can really figure that out is if you is if you gather all the data. And historically, it's been very, very hard to do. But nowadays, with uh, you know, with, with uh, you know, platforms like Twitter, and YouTube, and so on, uh, we actually can track everything. Uh, and this is uh, uh, so you know, we're, we're sort of starting to, to come to a way of, of thinking about success that, that uh, is very different from uh, you know, how people have thought about it in the past.